Sonos wants $400 for its new portable Bluetooth speaker. So the question is, is it worth it? Hey everyone, I'm Kirby. This is Kirby Meets Audio. And today we're talking about the new Sonos Move. In 2005, Sonos started selling home speakers with the goal of people being able to easily listen to anything they want in any room they want. Well, 15 years later, they've become the go-to home audio company for the masses, and now they're setting their sights on the great outdoors. They've pretty much cornered the connected home audio market for good reason. <laughs> they make the best connected home audio speakers with their Wi-Fi connection protocol, but as Sonos slowly converted listeners over to wireless connections based on Wi-Fi, the grizzled old standard of Bluetooth has itself grown over the years with steady reliability and performance improvements. Up to this point, if you've picked Sonos for your home audio ecosystem, you were stuck close to the house with it. All Sonos speakers up to this one relied on your home Wi-Fi network to talk to your source and to each other. And maybe more importantly, unless you had a really long extension cord, you're not taking your music very far. But now we have the Sonos Move a portable connected speaker that packs a 2,500 milliamp hour battery for 10 hours of playtime, and for the first time, built-in Bluetooth 4.2. This speaker was designed to be picked up and taken with you, well, at least to the backyard, but more on that later. But first, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more audio goodness. Now let's break it down, starting with design. The first thing I noticed while unboxing the Move is its size. This thing is big and heavy. Kind of an odd design choice for a portable product, but its size and heft does have some advantages. For one, this guy feels solid. Uh, knowing people would be picking the speaker up, the engineers at Sonos obviously took their time to make sure the speaker could survive a fall. At over six and a half pounds and with a solid glass fiber reinforced internal structure, similar to the one we found in the Sonos One teardown we did right here, and a nice big rubber bumper on the bottom. The speaker feels like it'll last a long time, which Sonos wants, and specifically thought to build in features for like a removable battery. All batteries degrade over time. That's just a function of them working properly. Sonos expects you to own the speaker long enough to have to replace the battery someday and they've made it relatively easy to do so. This isn't your average portable Bluetooth speaker, which you may or may not be aware of, you will have to throw away someday. They have an engineered built-in expiration. With most portable speakers, you cannot replace a battery gone bad without destroying the speaker itself. I'm starting off with this because I think it's important to keep in mind when making a purchase the lifespan of a product. A lot of products nowadays are designed to be disposable. The new $250 AirPods Pro that we just reviewed recently have tiny batteries in them and those batteries will fail in time and there's no way to replace them without destroying the buds themselves. I'm not saying this is a bad choice for audio brands to make or necessarily even bad for consumers. Sometimes the product just couldn't exist at a certain price point without a fixed battery design. Everything's a trade-off and you have to decide what's right for you. Uh, I see having the information and being aware of the choice as the important part. Now back to Sonos. They've continually manufactured their products to last because they're in kind of a unique position of not needing you to buy a replacement speaker to keep revenues coming in from existing customers. Sonos knows that when you buy a Sonos speaker for your living room, you're much more likely to buy another Sonos speaker for your bedroom and another for your kitchen and another for your TV. They hope to keep you coming back because they make quality products that work well and you just want to continue using them. All right, I, I feel like the Sonos business model and replacement batteries could be like their own separate videos. Uh, comment down below if you want to see those. Uh, but just because Sonos makes quality doesn't make it the best choice for every situation where you'd want a portable speaker. The same design language that makes the move durable and sound great outside also makes it big and heavy. Two words not normally used to describe portable design. Yes, you can pick this guy up and lug it to the beach or on your camping trip, but are you really going to? No, probably not. <laughs> it weighs almost seven pounds and it's bigger than my head. 
uh, it really does limit its portability. The Sonos Move makes the most sense going from listening to music inside the house to listening to music outside the house. Maybe around the pool or for barbecuing while entertaining, and maybe throwing it in the car every once in a while for a picnic or park day. If you do a fair amount of outside entertaining, but don't want to invest in a full outdoor audio setup, the Move is a perfect double duty speaker inside and out. The sound quality of the Move sits above the Sonos One, but definitely under the Play 5. It packs one woofer and one tweeter like the Sonos One, but the Move offers a larger woofer and a newly designed waveguide downfiring tweeter. These two new driver designs offer stronger bass and a wider sound stage over the Sonos One. I'm not so secretly hoping Sonos is using the Move as a test bed for bringing the new tweeter waveguide system to the Sonos One. A slight uptick in stereo imaging on the Sonos One will make a big difference in sound quality when using just one one. And bringing it a little closer to not needing two ones to get great sound. Uh, I talk more about the Sonos One's sound in this video. Right here. Click it. The stronger, heavier bass with the Move is warranted. Uh, when you listen to a speaker indoors, the sound doesn't only reach your ears straight from the speaker drivers. Those sound waves reflect off everything in your house, the wall, ceiling, floor, before reaching your ear. So more of the speaker's output actually gets to you. Uh, so that means more volume, especially in the bass. But when you take that same speaker outside in the open, there are fewer surfaces for those sound waves to reflect off of. So less of the speaker's output actually reaches your ear. Uh, it just keeps going, you know, off into the sky, into your neighbor's yard, and we hear less bass. The two drivers are individually powered by Class D amplifiers to have more control over the signal processing of your music. New to the move is utilizing the built-in microphones for automatic True Play speaker tuning. If you already own a Sonos speaker, then you're aware of the True Play tuning process you're asked to do during setup wherein you walk around the room with your phone while the speaker spits out some tones to figure out what sounds best in your space. The Move does something similar just without directly involving you. An accelerometer in the speaker detects if it's been picked up and once it's settled again, the Auto True Play recalibrates its tuning to fit the new environment using the speaker's built-in microphones. To me, the Sonos Move sounds fantastic for its size and functionality. And it sounds just as good on a Bluetooth connection as it does on Wi-Fi, which is really a testament for how far Bluetooth has come. As good as it sounds on its own, just like the Sonos One, the Move sounds even better when paired with other Sonos products, which is good because that's kind of the whole point of the thing. Uh, you can set it up on its own as a monoed stereo speaker or connect it as a stereo pair with another Move. $400 is a lot to ask for a portable Bluetooth speaker, even for Sonos. I mean, this is functionally a $150 Sonos One with a battery and Bluetooth, and I think the value reflects that. The Move is not for most people. It isn't even for most Sonos people, and I don't think it's for me. Unless you're a big backyard entertainer, but not big enough to splurge on a whole permanent outdoor Sonos speaker setup, I just don't really see the value. It's a nice to have for people with more money than me. There's actually a really easy way to know if you should buy the Sonos Move. Answer the following questions. Number one, have you ever, during a social gathering, brought out a long extension cord and a Wi-Fi extender to bring the party outside with a Sonos speaker you already have? Hmm? Number two, looked at your bank account and thought, if $400 was missing, I wouldn't really notice. Now, if you answered yes to both those questions, Sonos made the move just for you, and you should be ordering it right now. There's links down in the description. Uh, if not, well, you can get a great portable Bluetooth speaker that you'll actually want to throw into your backpack and bring with you places, and you'll save about $300 doing so. Also, links in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and now there's just one more thing to do. Let's find out what Jen thinks. Or what do you think of the Sonos Move? What's that? <laughs>